Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got so much hate on TikTok for my most recent video talking about Clapper. There were so many mean comments or so many hateful things being said and I wanted to just clear the air and do a quick little FAQ for those of you guys who are still curious about Clapper or who think that I want Clapper to replace TikTok. Either way, all I wanted to convey with my last video was one, that <laughs> Clapper is just another place where we can diversify and spread our content. I will always say we should never put our eggs in one basket from a social media perspective. Look at what's happening with TikTok. It's obviously not an ideal situation, especially if TikTok is your main funnel for your business, or if TikTok's just the place where you have your largest audience, great, but you should consistently be funneling people to other places because you never know what's gonna happen, especially with the Restrict Act. I talk a lot about that on my Instagram. If you don't already follow it, it's linked down below. But I talk a lot about the different things and the reasons why it's important to diversify your content just so you're not banking on one platform to be successful. So I'm gonna do a quick little FAQ based on a lot of the questions that I've been getting from you guys in my DMs, as well as people that have been asking me questions on Clapper or people that have been asking me questions on Instagram or TikTok. There's a lot of similar themes, but let's get the first two out of the way as it relates to my viral TikTok video about me saying, is Clapper the new TikTok? Yes, in a way. It feels like it, but it's not the same app. So when I say, is Clapper the new TikTok, that's me asking and answering a question of, yes, it potentially could be if TikTok gets banned. But if the Restrict Act happens, which do your research, look that up, I'll link the bill down below. If the Restrict Act happens, then Clapper is also susceptible to government censorship or potentially a ban, depending on what way that swings. So. Uh, to address some of the haters in the video, one, I do not work for Clapper. None of my videos are sponsored by, by Clapper. They don't even know who I am. So we're just gonna throw that one out the window. I do not work for Clapper. Second question, is she a corn star? No, I am not. I am a social media strategist and algorithmic expert, and I do not do that. And for anybody who came at me in the comments for that, that is not my style. I do not cast judgment on anybody who makes money that way. That is not my profession. I do not support that behavior. And I just wanted to clear the air. So personal stuff aside, let's address the elephant in the room. Was Clapper invented for corn? No, it was not invented for that. However, there was a mass migration of, migration of OF, and you, if you know, you know, OF creators moving over there because if they would get banned on TikTok, they would move over to Clapper because Clapper has a lot of functionalities that are helpful when you're that kind of creator. So if you saw that on your For You page on Clapper or if you heard about that being that type of app, it's because those creators migrated over because of the functionalities. Let's talk about those functionalities. One, you can go live without having 1,000 followers. That's very appealing. You can turn a do not disturb mode on on your live. So basically the only people that could see your live are the people that follow you and that it wouldn't be circulated among the for you page to other people. So there's only like certain people that can join that. And of course that's gonna be leveraged in an improper way um, based on how those people make their money, right? And that's okay, again, no judgment. I'm just putting that out there. Number two, it's probably circulating on the For You page still because it still exists on there. There has been a mass migration of TikTok users that have come over to Clapper and that's okay. You know what I mean? My For You page is rapidly changing every day due to the fact that Clapper is becoming like a second safe haven for us TikTok migrate migration people. So your, t your For You page is gonna change a lot, but if you're still seeing remnants of that, I did hear in a Clapper Town Hall, which is something that they run every week, that they're looking to get rid of some of that stuff on the platform because it's not, a, it's not what they're wanting out of their business. At the end of the day, Clapper is still a business and that's not appropriate. So it wasn't necessarily set up for that, but it, it, like you, there's people like that that do that on TikTok. They're just more easily banned. Whereas on Clapper, I think it's really hard to get banned on there due to the nature of the way things are set up. I'm sure there's people that get banned all the time, but it was not made for that. So stop. And I guess it is sort of a safe place for those OF creators because you can add a link in bio and that link in bio, the OF link, is not something that gets that 
removes somebody's profile. On other places, you can't link out to OF, whereas on Clapper, you can. And I think that's just their measure of not discriminating against links. I'm not really sure. Again, I have no affiliation to Clapper. This is just a guess. So let's just put that out there that it was not designed for that. And with the mass migration of people from TikTok, we will see more normalize content if we're not into the spicy stuff so it was not necessarily created for that and um it just literally hit not interested if you're confused about how to like turn that stuff off i do have a video on my clapper channel um specifically related to how i train my algorithm so i do not see that information i don't want to watch that and i want to clear the air that that's not something that i watch either as another note, people keep saying Clapper sucks, like there's no video functionality, etc. Let's talk about that FAQ, right? So frequently asked question is, how do I edit my videos? How do I get closed captioning on my videos? What do I do to, with the sound delay? So for those of you who don't know, there is a sound delay on Clapper. So if I recorded a video, my voice does not match the word, like my, my mouth. So that's hard, right? So basically I will create videos in CapCut and I will add closed captioning because I think that we could be a bit more inclusive, death friendly, etc. So we definitely want to make sure that's a, so I always add closed captions because I want to be in, as inclusive as possible. So I will add just that video with the closed captions directly from my camera roll to CapCut. I will then upload that to Clapper. Then I will add text on screen on Clapper. I keep it very plain and you can add music. So that's another question, like, can I add music? Yes, you can add music. It's a limited library because it's limited functionality. No, you cannot add closed captions in there. I'm sure they're working on all these things, but no, you can't add those in there. And you can't edit your video directly in the app. So I recommend using a third party app. It doesn't have to be CapCut, but using something else to upload your videos. Another thing that I get asked a lot is, um, whether or not businesses thrive on Clapper, right? Like I get the question, will my small business do well on Clapper? I can't, I'm not a business coach. I don't guarantee success um, on other platforms in any way, shape or form based on business. I'm not a business coach. But what I will tell you is that what I've been recommending to people in my DMs is use Clapper as another channel to reach people. If you get leads from it, great, but do not expect that to be the top of your funnel, right? And if you're a business owner, you if you know, you know, if TikTok was your top of funnel, I wouldn't look to Clapper as being that replacement. I would look at it as another avenue social media channel. So you should be, you should really, in theory, be posting on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and Clapper to get the furthest amount of reach. And I highly recommend that whether you repurpose content or not is up to you. But people are like, can my business do well on there? It's too soon to tell. I've had some leads from Clapper. I will tell you that. But I will also mention that my services are specifically geared towards social media assistance. So no matter what app I'm going on, people do need assistance with those things. And I recognize the privilege of that niche. I will say that if people are looking for your type of content, so if you're a fitness person or if you're a motivational coach, like those, those do well across the board. Whereas like if I'm giving TikTok tips on Clapper, obviously they're not going to want that. So just keep that in mind, like with the broader niches, I think you could easily do well, but recognizing that if you're a very specific business, I would not look at this as a top of funnel, more so as an alternative place to post your content in the event that you grow, great. If you don't, like, don't be that mad about it. You know what I mean? I think it's really hard to gauge how businesses will do on there because that platform was not leveraged for business to begin with. Yes, maybe the OF business, but not necessarily like small businesses. And there are some creators that are disappointed in their experience and I feel bad, but at the end of the day, that social media channel does not seem like it was created for that. It was created to build a community. So if you're looking to connect with your audience better, even better, and if, th if that happens, if you join Clapper, great. I would just look at it as a reach perspective. Another thing that I get is um, about the live streams on Clapper. There's a lot of different things that are confusing. And I want to tell you guys the differences between the radio function and the live function, but also I want to give you sort of a pre-warning about the live streams that I've come across by accident. So first and foremost, there's a radio function and there's a live function. 
One is video, one is audio. On the radio function, you can join somebody's radio. That means that if you, there's 50 people in the room, you can actually go up and talk and introduce yourself. Feels like a podcast and it feels like radio. Everybody's kind of comparing it to Clubhouse in that way where it, it reminds them of Clubhouse. So if you're familiar with Clubhouse, it's very similar to that. There is sort of an expectation and sort of a culture thing here where you kind of go up and introduce yourself. So if you're not super comfortable with that, I would def definitely recommend just going live at your own leisure on your own account. But if you wanna join somebody else's um, audio or their, their radio, I would do it. It's, it's really cool. It's a really nice way to connect with more people because more people have a voice as opposed to in a live where it's just you talking to the comments or you and another person talking to the comments. So just be warned of that. Another thing is when you go live, I always recommend, recommend going live with a friend. Uh, that way you can kind of banter and talk. I notice that more people stay in the live if you kind of are talking back and forth because when you go live alone, myself included, you see a lot more people in and out. Like you'll see like one person in, then they're out, then it's zero, then it's one person in and then they're out because you're kind of talking to yourself. And there's a lot of different videos out there that talk about like going live. I even have one on my TikTok. Like there's so many good creators out there um, that mention that. And videos for bosses, I'll link her profile down below as well. She gives great tips for going live. In addition, I also think too that when you have a friend, like you don't have to come prepared. It's a casual platform. A lot of the question, the, a lot of the conversations that I have have nothing to do with content creation. I do not have a niche on Clapper, and I'll get into that in a second. I do not have a niche on Clapper. So when you're on there, like just have a pleasant conversation. Obviously, like there there might be some hateful comments in the the live, but I've had worse comments on TikTok live and Clapper has been very inclusive. A lot of the OGs will join and they'll say, hey, like, do you need support? Do you have any questions? Like, it's actually really cool and I'm really thankful for that. But as it relates to going live, definitely go with a friend. If you need a friend to go live with, um, I usually say that in my lives when I go live, I'll say like, hey, you know, if you don't have anybody to go live with, comment down below and you should coordinate and DM each other because I'm trying to connect other creators so then they're comfortable going live. I go live with my community members and if you're curious about the community, I will also link that down below. I have a Discord server where we actually talk about Clapper and TikTok and basically we're a bunch of creators that just chat and you know, kind of just talk through some of the changes that are happening on social media because so much changes so quickly and having that Discord connection with my community has been essential in the success of other creators, but also just like our own sanity. Like I literally, all I wanted to do when I joined social media was to create a community and I did that and I'm so thankful for it. So all are welcome. I'm in there every day. I'm providing resources and basically I run little contests where you can get a free audit from me if um, just with my community members because they're special to me and I wanna give back to them as much as possible. So moving back into Clapper though, I will say everybody has been asking me, do I need a niche? Do I have to niche down? And then also I get questions about hashtags and when to post. Do I need a niche? No, I don't have a niche. Think about my where I come from. I come from TikTok where I blew up and my, my niche is TikTok tips. It would be very useless for me to get on Clapper and give you guys TikTok tips because who's listening to that? And also like TikTok could be banned. So who wants TikTok tips anymore, right? So I kind of pivoted and I kind of talk about current events or just the mindset of a content creator or just different little things that bring value in a different way. But I don't have a real niche. Like I kind of talk about social media, but I'm not tagging myself in that way. So if you don't have a niche, I recommend that you find your essence. If you don't know what that means, comment down below. I can help you with that. Um, I'm actually gonna create a little course for your like figuring out how to create an engaging video based on your essence. So stay tuned for that. But comment down below if you want to see or understand what that means. I did do a TikTok video on it and if you've seen it, you know you know, but otherwise, if you haven't, there's a video on my TikTok channel, I'll link that down below as well, where I basically give you indicators of how to find that golden thread among your content, because that's important. But have fun on Clapper, honestly, like there's no rhyme or reason to anything. Obviously be respectful, um, but speak your mind. I speak my mind on there too, and it's really refreshing. Like it's really cool to just be able to like pull out my camera and just film a video and upload it. I literally filmed a video with me. I had the flu. I looked awful and I didn't care. Also takes self-growth and development. And if you don't, 
if you're still struggling with that like I used to not like how I looked on camera now I'm really comfortable but it took a lot of self work so I have those videos on my YouTube channel as well if you need a boost or if you need to kind of like figure out a way to feel more comfortable on camera it took a lot of practice so as it relates to clapper hashtags there's no hashtag strategy you can go look at my page if you want to but legitimately there's no strategy and I I guess like I, I tag the FYP, I don't even know if it's effective, but I just tag whatever's relevant in the video. I share a lot of clapper news, I think that does well. I do FYP, I don't know if that helps. I'll do hashtag content creator, hashtag social media. I keep it really broad though. And I don't know if hashtags are really that effective. There's also a rumor out there, which I also helped spread that posting at the top of the hour works. It did work for me, but also not posting at the top of the hour worked for me. I posted in the middle of the night a couple times because one, I was sick with the flu, but then two, I also, I just tried it one night because I was on Clapper and I was already scrolling. I'm like, let's see what happens if I post this video. I noticed that posting in the middle of the night helps me too and it wasn't at the top of the hour. So the one thing that I do think helps is adding native text. So text on screen to Clapper. Those videos tend to do better than the ones where I don't add text on screen. So if you're uploading from CapCut, add your captions, but keep the header text off and then get into Clapper, add a header text, and I think that generally does better, so try that out. Um, the last question that I usually get, which is definitely a fair one, is there's other apps available, why is Clapper special? Um, and I can't really speak to all of them, but Lemonade, so Lemon 8, like literally the number eight, keeps coming up in my lives, it keeps coming up in my DMs. What is Lemonade? It's like the a baby of Pinterest and Instagram. It's not great. It's not great. That's my personal opinion. No hate against Lemonade or anybody who uses it. It just felt so curated and all the posts look the same. And you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of kind of like Instagram when you see a bunch of ads. Like I wasn't compelled to click on anybody's stuff because it all looked the same to me. That's just me being harsh, no shade to anybody who's using it. I think it's highly focused on anybody who wants to sell like Amazon stuff, beauty products, like kind of really aesthetic stuff. So if you're a really aesthetic creator and you really like to showcase your aesthetic side, you sell skincare or you wanna sell a beauty product, that's your spot, do you, go enjoy it. I just don't have any, I, I might post my skincare routine on there. Everybody's like, what do you use on your skin? Like, I don't have any wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I'll do that and see if it does well, but it has to be highly curated. And I just didn't feel very inspired by it. It just like, it felt like Pinterest and Instagram, but like in the ad kind of way, and I didn't love that. And I don't know how you build a community in there because the For You page is just so flooded with products that like, I don't think, it, they call it a community-based app, but like, how do you build a community in just the comment section, like of a video, of a of an image that's showing you a skincare product? Like, it just doesn't feel very intuitive in that way. And that's just how I feel. So the difference between Lemonade and Clapper is Clapper like feels very much like TikTok, as in you're directly interacting with people's stuff. Whereas this feed, it's like Pinterest. Like, who's really reading Pinterest comments? If you are, I'm sorry, but like I never read Pinterest comments because it's like still images or even if there is a video, I like, it just doesn't capture my attention in the same way. It feels less dynamic. It feels very much like a website full of ads. So if that's what you're into, if you're into the aesthetics, I think you do really well on there. So if you are selling beauty products or you are kind of more of the aesthetic wellness type girly makeup would do amazing on there, then by all means, please go do lemonade. I. I literally downloaded it so then I could make sure I secure my username, but that's the only reason why I got it. So um, I'll probably post my skincare routine on there. I don't know, like if you guys are interested, I may link it down below, I might not. If you want, just look me up, it's Creators by Cass. Anywhere, I'm on everything as Creators by Cass. So if you ever wanna know where I am, that's where I am. Um, but I'm mostly, these days I've been on Clapper, I've been going live almost every day on Clapper and I really feel like I'm connecting with people. I'm really having a good time and Clapper didn't even pay for this video. They don't know who I am. They, they never sponsored me. I grew really fast on that platform organically through my own merit, through my own personality and through my own authenticity. And anybody who wants to doubt that is welcome to, but I don't hack algorithms because I think it's fun. I just speak from my heart and I speak from my brain. And all I want is if it helps one person, my job is done. That is always my goal of service. Like I'm here to serve. I'm not here to <laughs> be famous or anything like that. I'm just literally here to serve people and to help anybody who felt insecure about being on social media 
prior to um, joining. You know, like I didn't want to be here as of December 2022. I was scared to show my face on social media. I didn't think I was pretty enough. I didn't think that I was smart enough and I didn't have anything to share. And I changed my mind in January and it was the best decision I ever made. So on that note, I just want to say thank you all for your support and your kindness and for everything that you guys do for me. Like you make my life so interactive. Thank you for making my social media an engaging place. And if there's anything that I can do to help you guys, DM me on Instagram or find me on any of these other platforms and ask me questions. It's what I'm here for. Like, I want to be here for you. So on that note, I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys think about Clapper and let me know if there's anything else I should be covering or if you have any other questions. But until the next one, I will see you on Clapper, TikTok, and basically everywhere else.